what Bilal Oliver say, uh, the artist Bilal uh, Oliver say from Philly, he said, butterfly, the struggle makes you beautiful. Uh, who else had a song about butterflies? Denise Williams, Be great song, cool song, something to reflect on. Uh, he was just breaking up. Um, and also, it's crazy, he was on Kendrick Lamar's album, To Pimp a Butterfly. It was on six tracks. And the crazy thing is, the crazy thing is, he was on Interscope on his first album. And on his first, after his first album, they, wanted, they, they, they bootlegged his album. So he, he left Interscope and they bootlegged that album so he wouldn't come out. So it was called Love for Sale. But come to find out, he did, you know, did a couple of projects, independent projects, very successful. Uh, not just, I'm not just talking about just numbers, but just, and also his touring, also the, the sound of it was successful. Oh, oh, balance. Even people scared of Wasp, um, but negative and positive. Oh, we'll see what happens. The struggle makes you beautiful. Now, will you let the struggle get to you to the point where you don't fight back or something gonna happen here? Uh-oh. But back to Bilal, uh, was saying, um, and then he ended up being on Kendrick Lamar's album, which he was on Interscope and Aftermath. Interscope, he was on Interscope. That means he, uh, when he was on Interscope, uh, they, they wanted him to work with Dre, and then he didn't want to do that. So, good, great choice, so he can, he can do his own thing. So, but, um, so they ended up bootlegging his album. So when they bootlegged his album, he did his couple of projects. Uh, great, great music, great, great sounds. I don't want to put it in the category. You categorize something, you put it in a container, and it can't have, have legs and grow outside of that. So I understand why uh, you don't want to label certain things, label yourself. Um, and also, uh, so he ended up being to pimp a butterfly and did, did six tracks, which was powerful, powerful. Great voice, you know, so, you know, gave, gave character to that, uh, those six songs too also. Uh, so I don't see nothing happening. But uh, yeah, I was just just watching. I don't want to, uh, you know, get in their way. This is daylight. And I'm just observing. You know. So everybody might think these are negative, but they're needed somewhere. Some for some reason they're needed. So it's a cycle. Everybody can't just be like, oh, kill that. You know, when you swing at it, that's when they'll attack you. They won't even bother you. Huh. Yeah, it's crazy. Butterfly in the water. Never thought it. If I ain't bothering you. You ain't bothering me. You can coexist. You do your thing. I do my thing. Knowing they're different, but you don't really see any conflict. And why can't people with bigger brains supposed to not get that? Supposed to bigger brain. Because they're using their highest point in their head, which is survival. If you're not a threat, why should I bother to you? Well, if you're not bothering me, why should I bother? Oh, energy. If you're not, if, see, they're using their highest. That means that they're just looking for something or just self-awareness self for themselves. You know, so they're using the highest point. The first mind. Use your first mind, always. I'm gonna say it's your third eye, but it's your first, your first, your first eye because we fell into these bodies. They can coexist, and they supposedly are smaller than us. We have bigger brains, but different people can't even coexist. So they can coexist in two different, you got a wasp and you have a butterfly. And now this, the wasp is nowhere near the butterfly. They just walk right past it, and there's no problem. No problem at all. Yeah, it is actually been ready to go. <laughs> oh, we'll see. We have another interaction. Butterfly's flying again. And the wasp He's got back on his level. Once I once I said something, his ways. Uh oh, and I've been wrong. 
Might I have been wrong? Who knows? Oh, oh, I might have been wrong. The butterfly started flying and then the, the wasp flew. So maybe the, the butterfly is the aggressor. Whoa. Maybe the butterfly from learning that struggle inside the cocoon while being nobody wants to be, nobody wants to uh, see the caterpillar. Oh, it's so slimy and, and gushy. And then it, but this, all that struggle turns you into something with all those colors. Something that someone that was so hated until it went to this struggle and became so powerful and to the point where it, it became something. Uh, it, it metamorphosized in terms of, to, into something that you deemed as beautiful, but I'm that same person that you thought was ugly at one point. Some people grow at different times. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm thankful, I'm grateful, you know what I'm saying, for all the different things I go through. You know, it makes you a stronger person for something down the line. Look, now they're getting aggressive with each other. Now they can coexist, something happened. And maybe it was some kind of sound wave that went off. Oh, that butterfly pimp slapping that, that motherfucker, motherfucker walk like slapping the shit out of this. What the? Oh, what is this? It's right on top of it, jumping on it too. Its engine is, is really moving a lot. You probably wouldn't see this on National Geographic. You know what I mean? Like, would you even see something like this? Wasps versus uh, butterfly? I wonder. <laughs> Is it getting aggressive to me? <laughs> it's it. I don't want to say he or she, so. Oh, the wall's just staggering. Oh, I think it might be down for the count. <laughs> oh, it really is staggering around. Made me hit it with some pheromones or something. Who knows? The pheromones of the butterfly as it stretches its wings. Oh, and the wasp. It's back flying again. Watch again. out or something like, ugh, pimp slap hair, still strong, ah, ah, ugh, hit the reps, bitch, <laughs> hit them reps, bitch, <laughs> I was in a pen, uh, the penitentiary, call it, we call it, y'all call it the cocoon, <sighs> you know, I can't, I can't really, you know, get used to this shit, trying to break out of a motherfucking cocoon, my arm's still strong. Look at that pimp hand. Look at that. Looking like Goldie. Blue, all blue suit with black, with blue trim on that motherfucker. Goldie. <laughs> man, I told the motherfucking boss, man, you better have my motherfucking money. And then, then the motherfucking man, you know, he was, he was like, uh, I, I got your next uh, two weeks, my paycheck come in. Well, shit, you know how long I was in a cocoon? Man, that's jail. I need mine when I come out, man. So when I see you, you ain't got it. You getting that pip hand right there. <laughs> 